BI302008 on 21 CD-ROMs. This is Kalmantov. This is a short demonstration on how to access OLAP Cube from Excel 2007. In this lesson, you learn how to connect to an OLAP Cube from Excel 2007, how to identify measures and dimensions. Measures are for aggregations and dimensions are for categorization. How to configure measures with aggregations. How to configure dimensions for columns and rows. And how to configure dimension filters. SQL USA BI Trio follows Microsoft uh, Business Intelligence Platform, SQL Server 2008. SSIS is for data transfer and data transformation. Analysis services is for managing all up cubes and uh, dimensions measures, dimensional hierarchies. And reporting services is to deliver business intelligence to a business intelligence consumer. We are in uh, Management Studio and uh, we are going to access from Excel 2007 the AdventureWorks uh, Sample Cube. AdventureWorks Cycle is a fictive company invented by Microsoft staff to demonstrate SQL Server database also integration services, uh, analysis services, and reporting services. We are in Business Intelligence Development Studio and a reporting services project is currently active and we are seeing the product catalog of uh, AdventureWorks Cycles. Let's uh, go to Excel 2007 data, get external data from other sources, analysis services, OLAMP cube, Dell star is the server name, next, and we select AdventureWorks cube, finish, yes, pivot table report, okay. So we are in the pivot table designer, the very first thing, uh, AdventureWorks is a supercube. It includes uh, several subcubes. So what we do is uh, select reseller sales. So this way we see reseller sales measures and we see reseller sales dimensions. Now the cross tab uh, report design area is um, this one with uh, four windows. Values is where we put the measures, and this is the sum uh, sign for summation, getting totals. And uh, we are going to drag in reseller sales amount. This is going to be the value to be aggregated. And click on value field setting. So this is already preset to sum in the cube. We don't have a choice at the moment, but um, our aggregations are the count aggregation and average aggregation. For example, we can have average sales. Min and max are uh, not uh, used um, in uh, aggregation typically, but uh, that's available as well, the minimum and maximum function. For number format, these are huge figures, so we really don't need the cents. So what we do is currency and uh, decimal places to down to zero. Okay, okay, so that has been fixed. Let's uh, scroll down in the measures and dimensions window. These are all measures, so reseller tax amount, product cost. And now we are in dimension. So this is uh, the co uh, calendar dimension, and this is the date calendar hierarchy. Year, semester, quarter, month. So let's pick this one for uh, columns. So this goes across the columns. And uh, let's uh, pick a different dimension 
four rows we are scrolling down and product categories that sounds like a good dimension category subcategory and product drag and drop we need a report filter so let's find a dimension for that and here is reseller type sounds like a good dimension for filtering when we are analyzing the business data so basically at this point we are finished with our uh, pivot table report or cross tab report or it's called matrix report as well so we close the pivot table field list and pay attention to what we have in uh, the Excel uh, a spreadsheet so first of all uh, the column labels let's uh, uncheck mark 2001 that's where the company started operating and 2006 some kind of noise not real data because uh, the sample database is from 2001 to 2004 okay so we'll see the data is uh, repainted according to the column label choices and we can do similar choices for uh, row labels for example we can uh, uncheck mark clothing okay what we see here is a cross tab report where the data which is being aggregated is the reseller sales where is internet sales also adventure work cycle selling on the internet on a e-commerce website and uh, across the columns uh, we see the date dimension it is a drill down dimension it is a dimensional hierarchy we can go down to semester down to quarter down to the month level so it's a four level hierarchy and drill up over the rows also we see a hierarchy so we can drill down and we see the data is repainting immediately this is the beauty of all our cubes millions of answers mostly pre-calculated waiting for our questions we cannot ask our questions in English so we have to use the mouse uh, movements and clicking to put our question for the OLAP cube to answer and the OLAP cube is answering uh, pretty fast as we see in this demo we can even drill down in road bikes and we see we are down at the product level we can drill up we have not tried filtering so let's check out filtering for filtering select multiple items so let's say we are only interested in uh, specialty bike shops so we uncheck mark the oval possibilities and we see the screen repainting immediately this is the beauty of all up cubes that we can analyze the data according to the dimensional layout dimensional hierarchies and the available measure instantaneously let's uh, get our field list back so we right click and show field list assume we want to do analysis a different way the pivoting action by the way refers to that we are pivoting vertical data across the columns that is the pivoting reference so instead of date calendar we just grab it and drop it uh, we are going to select a uh, uh, different uh, dimension so we have to find a dimension and for example we can select sales territory sales territory it's a hierarchy close pivot list and we can drill down again it's a drill down dimensional hierarchy and we see the countries France German and United Kingdom where where is reseller activity for adventure work cycles this is the end of a short demo